here at the garage. Thanks for stopping by. You won't believe what we've been up to. The streamlined Deco Liner could have been Flash Gordon's RV. It can be driven from the inside of the cab or from on top. To meet highway standards for clearance, the double decker was built on a low stance front wheel drive 73 GMC motorhome chassis. The Deco Liner spawned the Deco Pods, the sleek Art Deco scooters. The idea struck Randy when he was sitting on the buck for the fender of the B702 one day. He thought, hey, why couldn't this be a motorcycle? Don Tippett mentioned the vintage late 40s Salisbury Model 85 scooter, different from the Cushman and faster. The idea for the Decopods was born. All right, well here's your answer to what kind of chassis we use. We use a, a Vespa motor scooter. It's actually a Piaggio, the parent company to Vespa. They've been making motor scooters since the 1950-something or others. They're the Italian company, the best motor scooters you can buy. So what we do is we start with a Piaggio Fly. This is 150 cc. It goes a little over 60 miles an hour. It's a great bike. This is the third Decopod in the series, and of course we changed it up radically once again so it gets another designation. It's a Model C. Why a Model C? Well, because it's only a one-door model. It only has one door on this side. Okay, we just nestle it down. How's it looking, Don? Good from this end. All right, and if it hadn't been for Don Tippett on design, boy, he helped me get all these flowing lines lined up just perfect. Thank you, Don. Okay, as most of you know, my normal decopods are built on a Piaggio Fly 150 chassis, and that works really good. But now we're changing it up once again. This is one of the MP3 Piaggio chassis, one of those ones with the cool dual front wheels. The whole thing leans and turns. It's super trick, or really a sophisticated piece of engineering. We're gonna have to modify the back of these frame rails. It's too wide. A wooden buck is made to give symmetry to the final form. Patterns are first made of paper, then in wood before the final aluminum panels are cut, shaped, and polished. Let's see how the rest of these panels fit. We're ready to clico them all onto the buck. Start with the back. Okay, Clico Clico. Who's got the Clico? Well, this is a Clico. Clico comes from the aircraft industry and it's a temporary rivet. It's a way to put panels together over and over again without committing to the final rivet. And the way they work is you use a pair of Clico pliers, it uh, catches the bottom lip and it squeezes a spring inside. And there's a little hardened shaft right here that's the diameter of the hole that you drill. And then there's a shoulder that when you depress the uh, the handle, it squeezes this little shoulder down and allows you to insert it into the hole and when you release the plier it pulls the panel back and squeezes tension onto the, onto the uh, panel. So here we go, we go into the hole, we release it and it squeezes panel, the panels together. Man European film crew from Service TV dropped by Randy's garage on March 11th to shoot his automotive sculptures. They were working up a show called Speed Gang 10 for motorheads in Germany, Sweden, and Austria. Randy drove the Decaliner to downtown Grants Pass for them to film, right in front of the marquee of the 30s style Rogue Theater. You know, hey, I know that guy. 
we're starting another new project. You remember the decopods? You fit in them, and there was a little Piaggio Fly motor scooter underneath them? Well, this is completely different. The whole concept started when I was sitting on a fender for my B702 one day. We're kind of back to that. We're sitting on the outside of the shape this time. And what's underneath our shape? Well, it's right down here. It's a 1979 Harley Davidson Sportster. A lot more power, a lot more speed, a lot more rum rum. It's going to be fun. All right, so here's the basic concept, guys. This is the basic buck. This fits over our Harley Davidson Sportster. Here's our Sportster, and we're going to strip it down. Okay, this is we started with a stock 79 Harley Sportster. It had a seat, it had an oil tank, it was complete. What we're going to do is strip all the stuff off that we don't need, like the speedometer. We don't need handlebars. We don't need. We'll be dropping them down using some uh, dragster style. So this is where it all starts, guys, getting the basic shape. These are the mechanics that we can't move. We can't move the motor. We can't move the, the forks or the rear end. Well, we can, but we don't want to. We want to keep those things where they are. So as you can see, I've now created this outside shape that just captures my headstock and allow my clip-ons to fit underneath there. So I'll be able to steer it and ride it. We'll put some big holes to reach through to reach those. But then the shape will come down. It'll drop down lower than this for a lower seating position. And then here's about where our rear fender will be. So this is kind of where it all starts. And here's the full buck that's developed from these really basic shapes. This full buck actually fits over the top of our Sportster. And yeah, we're actually going to be riding it about like this. So next time you visit me, we're going to be pounding out metal to fit this thing. pretty good you know I got a lot of contour in this panel and I gotta say my new Bailey hammer really did the, the trick suckers got the power but yet the control to really allow me to raise quickly I really like it Okay, I really like the way the, the uh, panels and the rivets play together. The rivet line and the panel line itself, they really complement each other. Um, and you can see this tail is really cool the way it all comes back and flows into a point. We just punched it full of louvers. We went over to Mr. Bill's shop and borrowed his louver press and thank you Mr. Bill. It really came out cool. These things, and the coolest thing about them is they're innies, not outies. That's right, we punch the louver in rather than punching it out so that we still have a really smooth exterior skin. All right, the very last thing is, once again, this is a brazier head style rivet. Okay, now, where do I get them? Well, Hanson Rivet Supply. 1-800-RRR-RIVET. It's pretty easy, and guess what I just got from them? I got some really cool copper rivets. So if riveting's your thing, this is a riveting episode. All right, next time you see me on this thing, we're going to have, uh, it'll be all done. We'll be able to start it up and hopefully go for a ride. Uh, we're going to decide on a couple of things. We're playing with some copper rivet options and also the windshield option. So stay tuned. Next time you see me, hopefully I won't have a Clico up my... Yeah. German filmmaker Marcus Willing visited the garage on March 19th to make a documentary called Automobile. Randy's work will be seen in Germany on the Vox channel. Put one Pico and one metal somewhere just as a close-up? Sure. The old website is gone. To see 100% Randy Grubb, come back to Randy Grubb's Garage and go to randygrubb.com.